Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rachel Davis, and if you don't know, my YouTube channel is to educate personal trainers and share my experience throughout the years of everything I've done because I've done it all. I have recently started um, my own personal training business and I started my second uh, personal training business. So I'm running two businesses and I've worked in so many different gyms and so many different roles. So I just want to help everyone out there and give as much info as I can. So today's video as promised is about hiring a business coach and my experience thus far. So um, if you've ever gone on Google, like how to get more clients or, you know, should I hire a business coach? What is a business coach? Your Facebook ads will probably be flooded with different business coaches, specifically fitness coaches promising to get you to 10K, um, 10K a month immediately, you know, start making six figures and, you know, they're really good at selling that and they're really good at making these promises but it seems too good to be true. And if it's too good to be true, then it probably is. So I had been doing tons of research and I didn't even understand the process. Like, how does this work? And they're talking about funnels and they're talking about cold DMs and hot leads and all this. And I'm just like, I have no idea. So um, I keep get, kept getting ads popping up to this one specific coach and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and book this free call. I booked the free call and it ended up being terrible. It was not comforting whatsoever. Um, the It wasn't even with the coach who I had been, you know, watching the videos. It was with some girl and she kept talking about how much money she had and how much money she made and what kind of car she drove and what kind of apartment she had. and. You know, the price tag was, it was up there, but she didn't sell the value at all. I did not feel like this was something that was going to help me get to the next level. And then I was just kind of turned off. So I had been following, I had been friends with this one business coach for a long time. And I just like to, I pretty much add anyone on Facebook because I think, it's gonna maybe help push my business forward. You never know. So I don't post too much personal stuff on my Facebook. I post all business. So usually I add everyone. And I had added this guy and he's a business coach and you know, just saw his stuff here and there. And then I had started a podcast. So I was also, I was friends with him and he had his own Facebook group that I was also in. So I asked him if I could interview him on my podcast about business coaches and what they do and how they help you. And he was very, very honest and there was no promises being made. He was all about doing the work. And, and I really liked him and I found that I really trusted him. So I said, hey, I want to hire you. I want to do this because I wanted help starting my second business. Uh, it was completely different. Um, my first business, I had already been established. I had a following. I didn't need to market much because I was fully booked and I had a waiting list. I wasn't used to selling anymore at all. I was not used to marketing. I was not used to selling. So I, I wanted a coach to help me with the process of starting this business where I was going to have to sell. I was going to have to do all that marketing. I was going to need some sort of funnel. I was going to need help with my website and all of that. So what happened was, you know, we had our call and he explained everything very thoroughly, made no promises. Um, and we got to work. So he actually had a tech team. They built my website, they built my funnel, they did all of the, everything. There's a lot that goes into it, but they make it so it's so much less work on me. Like there's automated emails going out to your leads and I don't wanna to get too much into it, but they do a lot for you and it's very, very worth it. Now that alone, just the techie side, building my website that looks very professional, doing the funnels, doing all of that, teaching me how it's going to work, 
that alone was worth it. And it was affordable to me. Um, I don't like when people say, I want something affordable. I mean, I was willing to invest this amount of money, 100% willing. I thought, so worth it. So not only did I get that, I got weekly coaching with my coach and that is just, that was great because first of all, there's accountability. I don't want to like tell you exactly what he was telling me to do, but he was telling me what sort of stuff to post on social media, when to post it, how to figure out my target, my perfect client. So then once I found my perfect client, how do I reach them? What exactly do I say to market to them? Um, there's accountability of, you know, you got to post, you got to do this, you got to follow up. You, I got access to a group, everyone who coaches with him. We are all in a group and we all support each other and we all help each other out. And there's ways to get around the algorithm and all of that. And he's always checking in on me. And the, the biggest thing was he made no promises, but he taught me how to be patient and he taught me how to do the work. Okay, so I had a great experience with him. I had no um, expectations of, you know, hitting 10K a month. I had no expect financial expectations. I just had the expectation of being held accountable and having a mentor and someone I can go to who can help me and talk me through things. Like that's what a coach is for. They work together with you to help you solve a problem. Um, you know, a consultant just tells you what to do. The coach is gonna work with you and help you figure out the solution. So no matter what it is, I can't get clients. I can't figure out how to post, you know. Um, I'm having problems with a client who is not adhering anything. That's what this coach is there for, but it's very important to find the right coach. So I would suggest doing your homework, doing your research and looking around. If you, I'm not going to say who my coach is, but if you want to know, you can send me a comment. I'll put it in the comments. Um, so I think it's been a great experience and I've been working with him. Um, let's see, maybe I started in March this last March. So it's only been a couple months. And again, the group we're in alone is great. We're all, we all help each other out. So yeah, I would recommend getting a coach, getting the right coach. Um, do you need a business coach? No. Um, just like, do people need personal trainers? No, they don't need personal trainers. People can exercise on their own just fine. You know what I mean? Like, but having a personal trainer is going to get you to your goals. So do you need a business coach? No, you can go out and start a business on your own and do your own thing and do whatever you want. But you're going to learn a lot and it's going to get you to that next level way quicker and you're going to have that support system. So I'm kind of like rambling. Um, again, I recommend it. I love the accountability. I love that I could talk to him when I need him and just building that website and, and teaching me things. Like I had no idea what a funnel meant. I had no idea about all the little tips and tricks to marketing. Like I was doing things all wrong. I was posting just at the wrong times, I was constantly like, buy for me, buy for me, buy for me. I wasn't doing my value posts. So you learn so much. So what's going to take you years, like I've been doing this for eight years and I'm just learning this now. If I had done this when I first started, I would be at a way higher level than I'm at right now. So my experience has been positive and I highly recommend getting a business coach who um, specifically works with fitness. Um, my next video I'm going to make, so stay tuned, is going to be 
my top mistakes I made in my first year of business and how to avoid and correct those mistakes. So make sure you like this video and you subscribe so you can check that video out next. It's going to be, there's going to be tons of info in that because I have made a lot of mistakes, unfortunately, but my business is thriving and it's, always getting better because I like making these mistakes so I can learn. Um, I look a little crazy right now because I just had my workout, but again, guys, have a great day. Please subscribe to my page and like this video. Again, if you want information on the coach I use, just send me a comment.